and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I'm going to be planning for the week of April 17th through 23rd in my big catch-all happy planner. Uh, the 22nd is Earth Day so I'm going with that for my theme this week and I have some really fun stickers lined up that I got as a member of According to Allie's Patreon. They came in this cute little bag. It says According to Allie, Patreon exclusive with a little whale on it. I love that so much. Um, so you can join According to Allie's Patreon. I will link it down below if there are spots open. It is $15 a month and you get three sheets of stickers. That includes the shipping and we get to vote on the sticker theme each month. And I just love it. The exclusive stickers are just so great. It's great to have like a tangible like Patreon um, like perk and Allie just does an amazing job, so I'm always on board for more According to Allie stickers. You won't be able to use my affiliate code on the Patreon membership or the Patreon stickers because these are only available for Patreon members, but if you're shopping in According to Allie shop, you can use my code Caitlin10 to save 10% off. That's my affiliate code. My link is down below. It helps support the channel if you use the link. I get a little bit of a financial kickback when you use that. So these are the three sheets that we got for the Earth Day set. And this one is all the adorable illustrations. I love the whale with the rainbow. That is my favorite sticker out of this whole set. It's so cute. Uh, little tote bag filled with flowers. They're just all gorgeous. And I love this green tone that she used in here. So I'm going to try to bring that out while I'm planning today. The second sheet has like the faux washi strips and then these really cool like craft paper, like torn journaling uh, strip stickers. I don't know how I'm going to use these in the spread, but I really liked the concept of these. I think they're really fun. A bunch of little butterflies that I can scatter throughout. And then finally, this clear sticker sheet has the quotes on it. So uh, recycle, reduce, reuse, go green, Earth Day every day. We don't inherit we don't inherit the earth from our ancestors. We, in, we borrow it from our children, Native American proverb. Uh, we've got save our planet and then some alcohol ink swatches that'll match the color palette here. So it's a whole set that can make like an entire spread or you could uh, use it to make two different spreads because there's a lot of stickers. I don't always end up using all of them because there's just so many stickers included in these. Um, but these are the three Patreon sticker sheets. I pulled in this partially used sheet of cool shapes from According to Allie's shop. Uh, these my code will work on. Just because I felt like maybe I'd want some more outside of these ones. So I grabbed that. I really liked what she did with the craft paper. I wasn't sure if it was going to fit the dimensions of this planner. So then I grabbed just a sheet of regular craft paper. It doesn't have that cool wrinkled effect to it that those ones do. And like I could wrinkle this up but I feel like it's gonna get really bulky in the planner and make the pages kind of warp in a weird way so I'm just gonna go with a regular craft paper as kind of like a layering element and then finally I grabbed this one that I had just used in a social media plan with me it's the opposite side of that pink grid I thought this might be nice color palette wise I just don't know if it's overkill to bring this in so I don't have like a set plan on how I want to set this spread up. I just know that I wanted to use these stickers and I'm going to pull in some boxes and maybe some matching colors, but we're just going to take this off the discs and just kind of see how it goes. It's currently the fifth, so I'm definitely planning ahead of time on this spread and I have a whole pack of this uh, craft paper. So if something goes awry, I can grab another sheet. Um, I got it at Michael's in just like a multi-pack of just paper when they were doing buy one get one and I'm like oh I don't know if I need another one of the cream colored paper that I use for my Etsy shop I'm just gonna get one of these um what was I gonna say oh yeah I'm planning really far ahead of time so I'm not really sure I'm gonna do the reverse side of it since it's not printed I could do either side I just like the torn edge I think that'll get us closer to that texturing that is on the like sticker version of these we're planning ahead. It's just kind of one of those days where I have a decent amount of time in the morning and I want to get a bunch of videos done. So you probably have seen like my nails looking like this and this sweatshirt for like a lot of videos at this point. I'm hoping to get like four or five videos done this morning. Uh, so this is kind of the state of being as it is. I just finished up doing this spread and now we're gonna flip into this one. But in between there I did a social media spread for Earth Day. So I'm in the Earth Day mindset now. 
I'm not convinced of the other washi or the other uh, scrapbook paper, but I do want to bring in some washi tape, even though it's not washi tape, it's packing tape. I use this one in that social media plan with me as well. I got this from a fun paper shop called Appointed in Washington, D.C. I will link their website down below and it's a packing tape, but it's like a fun black and white grid packing tape. So you could use it as washi tape, I would I would say. It's not like washi tape texture, it's closer to a painter's tape texture, but you get the same effect. It's just patterned tape and it's nice and it's like big. It's not like a standard washi tape roll, so you get a lot of it and it's also wider. So I'm having fun planning with that one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the Cool Shape alcohol ink on the pages. I'm gonna layer that onto that washi tape so I can get some fun layering going on where the washi tape kind of comes through that blue color. I think that looks really cool to have those things all layered together. Um, Monday is gonna be my April sticker shop release at 1 p.m. Central Time. Again, planning really far ahead of time. So if everything goes as according to plan, it will be on the 17th. I will update you if that changes. Um, I don't foresee it changing, but that's going to be Monday. I'm going to grab a box to put that in the planner. I was thinking I would use these brown boxes from Mojo Jojo Plans to do um, this color palette because it matches pretty closely with what we've got going on in the According to Alley sheet. It's not the exact same as like this kind of tan color, um, but the tan color in this book is this color and I don't like that as much so I feel like this is going to be what I want to go with. It's just a nice middle ground so this is kind of the sticker color I'm going with for the boxes and then I want to grab some boxes out of the Paper Raven Co. sticker book because there's some cute green ones that I thought might be nice to add in. Um, let's see I'm going to go like right here for this box for the sticker release on Monday and then I'll put like a decorative element right up there in that corner. Maybe we could do the really cute whale. I love that whale. Um, it is a little bit more rainbow. This is the only like rainbow sticker, but it's also my favorite. So I could do that. I would like it in an ideal world, like over that cluster. So maybe I just need to move the box. Maybe the whale and the box are just not going to go together and that's okay. Not everything needs to work out exactly the way it gets put on the page for the first time. So let's peel that up and I'm going to bump this down into the middle row of boxes. And maybe I could layer this with like a little checklist sticker. So when I'm talking about the Paper Raven Co. checklist stickers, I'm looking at these ones. I think the green and blue tones will look nice with all of the tones that Allie picked. I'm gonna start with this olive green one and I'm gonna put this layered with the release day sticker because this is gonna be like my release day checklist. Lots of stuff that needs to get done before um, like Etsy listings go live. So it'll be helpful to have something like that. And then we could add another one of these stickers in there. I'm looking at the tree. We could add some butterflies maybe. So I was thinking the tree would go like right here. It does take up a decent amount of my checklist space, but the checklist is only gonna be a couple items anyway. So let's add that tree in there and then a couple butterflies. And these are sp uh, really small little cute butterflies that are gonna group really well into all of my sticker clusters. So we're just kind of going with everything and anything Earth Day related in this uh, spread. Could do a little quote up on the top maybe. I like this Save Our Planet and it's green, which will look nice because everything else up here is blue. I'm gonna go with the Jelly Roll pen just to clear up a little spot for it here on the page. This is the Jelly Roll 10 size. Um, I got them at Joann's or maybe I got them at Michael's. You can get them at a craft store. Save Our Planet. Going back to my craft paper and I'm going to tear another little piece to go on the bottom of this page. And we can just readjust how big the different pieces are once we've already torn it. So I don't want it to be that tall. I'll rip this piece off the top. Now we have another little piece of craft paper that's going to go down here at the bottom. 
I think this is a really nice paper just to have on hand for various crafting projects. Like this is the first sheet I've taken out of the pack of it, but now that it's open, I feel like I'm gonna use it more. It'll be nice for like junk journaling. It's nice in the catch-all when you just need like a touch of something. It's a nice natural neutral color that you could just use a lot of different ways. I'm gonna go ahead and layer that with a decently sized piece of the not washi tape, the packing tape. I have to keep correcting myself when I'm using this because it's not washi tape, but I want to call it washi tape. And I was thinking the bike would go down here in this cluster, but maybe before I put the bike down, I could do like some alcohol ink underneath it. I liked the way that it layered over the washi tape in the other section, so I'm gonna do some green over in this area. Green with the green bike, blue with the blue whale. I have some additional whale stickers from According to Allie that I considered bringing in for this spread, but the color palette wasn't an exact match and I wanted to stay pretty limited on the color palette because we already have so many different things going on with this spread. I'm gonna need a box for a work shift on Tuesday. I think I am out of the size that I'm looking for though in this book, so I'll have to go find my other copy of this. Here we go, second copy of the Mojo Jojo Plans, brown boxes and more. Uh, she has very good color consistency across her sticker books, so they match up pretty close, even though I got them several months apart. And this one's gonna go down here on Tuesday so that I can put a checklist in that middle box. Well, maybe not, I don't know. I just like it there. And then I wanna do like a cluster in the middle of the spread, like in this section because there's not anything going on on Wednesday except for like packing orders. So I think it would be a nice spot to put some more craft paper. I tore out this kind of interesting shape and I, I'm not gonna alter it. I feel like the craft paper just looks good in so many different shapes that it doesn't need to be perfect. We can just go for like random kind of organic forms. It's Earth Day after all. And this one's gonna go up here between like Wednesday and Thursday, and I'm gonna put it at a little bit of an angle. Eventually I will need to cut these pages apart, but I'm gonna layer some stuff in there. So let's do that first before separating them out and punching them because I'm just gonna have to do it again. We're gonna start with a touch of the grid tape. And since it's a packing tape, there are some gaps in the design. I don't want that on the planner page, so I'm gonna rip out that section and just go right back to a new section of the design. I think it's so you can tell like that you're getting the same length of tape every time you cut it, you know? Like if you cut to like that thing, then it, it'll all be uniform. I don't know. Um, and it probably is harder to print a continuous pattern onto like this kind of tape than it is a washi tape. But that's what we got for that. Um, I take this really big piece of the alcohol ink off of the cool shape. I think it'll look cool layered on top of the craft paper. You can see a little bit of like the clear paper on it because it's such a dark color, but I think it looks cool to have it just kind of layered there. I need a checklist for my day off. So I'm gonna grab another one of those boxes. I hope they're gonna be enough space to actually write out what I wanna do. Um, but I feel like I can put a few of these throughout the spread and then I'll just kind of uh, fill them in. If I need to do stuff in the daily, I can do stuff in the daily. So this one's gonna go right here on Wednesday. And there is room to add in plans if plans come up. I'm not too concerned about running out of room for plans. As far as decorative stickers go, this is kind of what we've got. Um, I like this one, but I wanna save it for the other half because I'm worried that I'm gonna use up all the big sized stickers on one half even though this is a big size sticker. Um, the little tote bag with the recycle symbol on it, it is full of flowers. There are some flowers on this sticker sheet that I would like to get kind of throughout the entire spread. So I'm gonna take this other one. We could do it right there. Yeah, that's not bad. Could even cover up this week's list with it. I'm not sold just yet, so we'll hold on to that until I pick something that is exactly where I want it to be. Maybe some more little butterflies though, cause we have so many of them. 
I'm going to do one there and then I'll take one of these pink ones that matches the flowers and that one's just going to live kind of up here. For a spread with a lot of stuff going on, I do think it's pretty cohesive. We could grab another quote. I like this recycle, reduce, reuse. Although I've always heard it in the re like the reverse of that, reuse, reduce, recycle. But it's it's I can always cut it apart too. Let's do that. I'm going to take this quote and we're going to cut it into the three words and just rearrange them so it's a little bit more what I'm used to saying. I I guess people use it this way too. This is going to be a little bit of a process, but I wanted it to go just kind of in this box right here. I'm worried though that this is going to be so light that you won't be able to see it when it's on top of that like alcohol ink. So if I scoot it over a little bit, we can put it on some white gel pen and we can start there and then we'll cut the next word. I like the way that she did it as three different tones of brown. I think it's really cute and creative. And then reduce is going to go right underneath that. Clear enough room for that. And I think recycle is not going to fall on that line. So I don't need to do too much more room for it. Reduce, reuse. I mean, I could do recycle right there, but I was just going to do it like that. <laughs> it might be cuter to have it like, like there though. It's going to fall on the line. Reduce, reuse, recycle. That is so cute. Um, I'm going to cut these pages apart so that I don't have to deal with them being one big chunk of page right now. Eventually, I'll need to repunch those, but that's a project or a problem for later, Caitlin. I like the way that this shape sits in the sidebar, so I want to do something kind of similar on Sunday with um, like the edge piece of the craft paper. So let's tear into this again. We've got the whole sheet to work with, so I don't feel terrible about like ripping into all sorts of different areas with it. With like something that's printed like a scrapbook paper, I want to try to keep the pattern like as together as I can so that I can use it again and have the pattern be like a larger area of this. But with a, a sheet of this, it's all the same color. So I can use all the weird little shapes that get ripped out of it if it ends up being a bunch of little pieces. I'm going to take this one and we're going to go down at the bottom of Sunday to kind of offset the one on Monday that's kind of up at the top. I don't remember if I have plans on Sunday or not. I think the big thing that's going on this week is that my boyfriend's mom is coming to town. So we're going to be doing stuff with her kind of on like Friday, Saturday. But that's just going to live right there. Let's grab some alcohol ink to cover that. Well, washi tape first. Not washi tape though. And it tears exactly the same way that washi tape does. So it feels like the same thing. And that's why I'm like, it's the same thing. Um, this one is going to go over here. Really dark on this alcohol ink though. So I had to pick like a sticker that kind of offsets that when I layer a decorative one on top. And I was thinking I would do the heart with the earth, the heart shaped earth. Oh, it's so pretty. Just like right over here. And maybe we could add in some flowers into that cluster as well. The ones that I already peeled up, they could fit nicely just like right over here. Because that alcohol ink is so dark, I really do want to offset it a bit with like some pops of color on top of it. And these white outlined butterflies, they do the trick because they do bring that lighter white tone or like that lighter white border to that section where it's like dark alcohol ink on dark paper. So that's kind of what we've got going on over there. And I can add in a quote over here. Saturday is Earth Day. So I'm going to put Earth Day every day on it, but especially Earth Day. <laughs> People really like to uh, seem to like the videos where I plan with the According to Alley Patreon stickers. I don't know if it's like a living vicariously through exclusive stickers thing or if it's just cool to see uh, Allie's designs, but these videos tend to do really well. 
which they're beautiful stickers. So I'm happy to see that people are seeing the stickers. Loving that corner. Um, I also have just a few sets of them that I haven't used that I got. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to wait for the right occasion to use these stickers. So eventually I will make my way through my According to Ally stash. I have some really cute self-care ones that she made a while ago that I've been meaning to use in the planner. I just haven't had the occasion where I'm like, oh, this is going to be a self-care week. Like, you know, I want like a self-care themed planner spread. So I haven't used them, but they're beautiful. Um, so maybe one of these days I'll get into that. It's just hard to kind of navigate like the seasonal planning with like all the stickers that are not seasonal because I'm like, I got to use all the seasonal ones right now while we're still in season. But that means that everything is going to be seasonal and I don't want that. Um, so I'm trying to use up the stickers while I've got them. I'm doing another piece of the craft paper up on the top of the weekend. Going to layer that with a little bit of this. And I'm going right up until that like gap in the design and to make it easier on myself so I don't have to do it next time. We'll just take that off. Um, this is going to live on Friday. And the alcohol ink or like the swipes of ink are the longer version. They're not like the circles of it. So, so I'm going to place one like there. That looks pretty good. Um, I like this little light bulb with the sun in it, like solar power light. That's cute. Go right over here. And before I get too far into this, I think I want to put some more boxes in this spread. This is one of those spreads where I'm doing the functional as I'm doing the decorative. I don't do that a lot. Um, typically, I'll do all the decorative clusters and then I'll put the boxes in. But for something like this, I'm kind of working around all the boxes. So we're just layering stuff. Got dinner plans on Friday. I'm going to place that... Hmm. Let's go right here because I want to layer it with like a checklist sticker. I could even put it underneath that, but I think this is a nice spot. I'm using a really big box for that though because I feel like when I layer the checklist on it, the writing room is a little bit smaller because we're taking up some of that space. So it's actually going to be like that much writing room. I'm probably not going to write in that little section that's on the side. I'm using the lighter green checklist out of the Paper Raven Co. book and I feel like I'm going to want another checklist but I'm just going to have to go into my second copy to grab that. I'm putting those flowers in that area where I'm not going to write uh, just because it'll fill up that space nicely without leaving it just awkward. And throughout the course of the week, I'm going to hold on to these stickers and I'll probably end up putting a few more into the spread. That's the nice thing about having these like sticker sets is when I end up having extra room, I could just put a sticker in there. So those are just going to live on that little cluster. Um, looking for another place to put these quotes and I think up here by the light bulb would be nice to have go green. I could cut the sticker apart to have it go into like a line if I wanted it to, but I think the way that it's arranged already will look good right over here. Should I layer it on top of the washi tape? No, I think it looks fine right here. I'm just trying to avoid having that leaf go right through the middle of the word, but that looks nice. I need some more boxes, so I'm going to take the ones for my work shifts out of this copy of the Mojo Jojo Plans book. It's a new book, so it's trying to close on me, but eventually it'll get to the state of the other one where the pages are just kind of like, they've, they've had it, they're falling out. It's a very well-loved sticker book. Um, for this one, I could put it in this cluster. I think that would be kind of cool. And then we'd have more room in the bottom of Thursday if I end up having more stuff come up. And then this one is going to go over here. And I'm thinking that maybe I should put another box with it because we, at work we have like when it's a holiday or something like that, we all have like a, there's like a dress up theme and there's a dress up theme for Earth Day. And I probably would want to put details for that. So maybe I need a slightly larger box than this. 
I'm going with the square sized one and I'm going to grab another checklist out of this because I think, well, what we've got left in this copy of the book are pink, which we didn't use a lot of pink. There's pink in the flowers, which I think this matches really close with the flowers. I just want to stick in that like green and blue palette though. And this blue is a little too vibrant. So let's flip over to the second copy of the book and grab probably the olive green because it's going to be the farthest away from that. Same sticker. Yep. And this one is going to layer with the work shift box. I was thinking this one would just go up on Sunday or like kind of on Sunday. And then this box would layer over it. Like that, maybe. I think that looks pretty good. I mean, it's making a diagonal line, which I don't always like it when it happens like that, but uh, I'm going to reconfigure that. Well, we're getting the wrinkled texture on the paper, but it's not the paper I wanted to be wrinkled, so it's fine. <laughs> this one, I feel like it just looks weird to have it like that. If I unlayer these, though, trying not to take off the color, could do it the opposite direction, and then it wouldn't be as bad. Stick this one right here. Now the checklists are in line. Oh, this is not working out for me. Although this is a slightly less dramatic diagonal, so I'm okay having it like that. Maybe. This might need to be one of those moments where I, I figure this out on my own. <laughs> this is what I ended up with. I think it looks good to have the checklists like up, down, up, down. I might have some breakfast plans on Saturday as well, so I should grab another box for that. I'm trying to decide, should this be the one that completes that diagonal? I don't hate it, but like also we could just do that, which might be a little bit better. I'm looking at the flower placement and I'm gonna take the last one and I think it'll look nice to have it over here on Monday with these boxes. Now all that's, all that's left are the recycle symbol and then the tap that says save water or, you know, with the droplet that says save on it. I want to use them, but I just don't know where they'd go in this spread. And I have a few more stickers over here that maybe I should just save these for like my daily planner. I'm going to add more butterflies though, because I want to use all the butterflies in this particular spread. And if I just take them off the page, then I'll have them. Uh, so we have the craft paper that's left, which inspired the other craft paper, so that's fine. We've got the love with the earth on it and another little speck of something. Um, the flower growing from the soil, which is cute, but again, maybe for another spread. And then the washi tapes that Allie made, but I ended up using that other washi tape. So that's what we've got on that sheet. And then over here we have one more like swatch of color and then a quote. What clusters don't have butterflies? Um, the bicycle. So we'll add them over here. And I like that they're slightly different sizes. So that looks nice kind of floating in that green alcohol ink cloud. And then these ones I just have as like leftover anyway. Does it need the last quote? I don't know. I was thinking it'd be nice over in like the sidebar. Or we could do it on Sunday, which I don't have plans on Sunday, but I might have plans on Sunday, you know. So I'm going to hold off on that. I'm feeling pretty happy with the way this turned out. I might just need to put a pause on it or like end it, you know? I'm going to go ahead and repunch these and just think it over. So I just repunched it and I think the last thing I want to do is add in just some tiny little fragments of paper. I have this one that I used in my last catch-all spread and it's like a ledger. And I think just to do like the Earth Day kind of mixed papers effect, I could layer a few pieces of this in. This one kind of looks like a heart. Uh, I was just thinking I would do it like over the edge of this like checklist boxes. Just a few little small specks of it. And if they don't look good, I can always peel them up because they're not like attached to anything. But I was thinking like something like that to just give it a little bit more color. Just 
tiny little pieces of it. And I could even use my glue marker to like attach these if I needed to. I already used it to like glue down the edges of that that got punched weird or like where it's just that tiny bit of paper that goes over the punch. Sometimes I need to re-glue those to make sure that they stay in place. I'm gonna add a little bit over here to this checklist or I don't know if I like it right by that Save Our Planet thing, so I'll bump it down. And it's not cutting into the writable room, so I like it like that. It's got this one that's already kind of cut to an edge or torn to an edge. So I'll take that bit. And we're making use of the stash today. We're trying to get stuff on the page that might otherwise be garbage, you know? In the spirit of Earth Day, we'll use all the different little scraps of paper that we already have. This one's gonna go on that piece. And when the edges kind of curl up like this, I'll typically just take the glue pen and just go right underneath them. It goes on blue, but it dries clear. So if it's looking a little different colored right now, it'll dry clear. I'm gonna take a touch of this off of the top of the sheet to go maybe up here along the top of the spread. I do like the way this is turning out with the alternative paper. I'm gonna add that in. I'm trying not to block out this, but if I peel it up, since it's on top of tape, it'll come up pretty easy. We can just rearrange those layers like that. I'm looking for one more little piece because we've got four of them and I like things in odd numbers. So let's just tear a bit more off of this. I don't know where it's going, but we're going to just put glue on the back of it and we'll figure that out. Maybe right underneath the edge of this tree. So if I peel this sticker up a little bit, we could slide it in right here. And this is the box for my uh, sticker release, so I don't need a whole lot of writing room. You can just go right there. I think that looks good. Kind of wish this cluster got a little bit, but it's fine. Could take this scrap and just go on top. Let's do that. I've had worse ideas for incorporating things into the spread this late in the game, so I'm gonna count this as a win. On the pieces that are a little bit of a skinnier section, the glue pen is a little bit easier than the tape runner. And should I have it down here? Or should I have it like up a little bit? Should I have it up all the way? Let's go up all the way. Now we're back to an even number of that. So I want one more. <laughs> You can't stop me. That's the problem. When I add stuff late in the game, it's hard to stop me. Um, I was just thinking right underneath the bicycle, though. And then that's the end. We got to be done after this because this is taking up a lot of, like, a lot of stickers. We're using too many things. Let's go right over here. I think that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and pop this back on the discs and just get a good look at it. So I'm back on the discs, and I know I told you I need to stop. Um, but to get that weathered effect on the craft paper that I kind of wanted, I saw that on this, like, ledger paper, there's some little white spots. So I took the jelly roll pen and just kind of speckled it onto the craft paper. And while it's not the same effect, I do think it looks kind of fun. So I'm just going to do a little bit more of that. So I'm just drawing some, like, circles with it, like little dots. And then I'm taking my finger and just, like, smudging it to get like a worn out effect. Um, I think it looks nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of that to weather it a touch and then I'll be back in a second. So this is what I ended up with for my Earth Day spread. I love it. I think it's so cute and so fun. Uh, the main stickers for this are from According to Allie. They are the Patreon exclusive Earth Day sticker set. So if you're interested in signing up for her Patreon, you'll get access to next month's sticker set. She doesn't do them retroactively, so you aren't able to purchase past month's Patreon sets, but if you're a member, then you avoid that FOMO. Um, so I have the, according to Alley stickers, the boxes, like the checklist boxes, are from Paper Raven Co. The regular plain boxes are from Mojo Jojo Plans. We got some fun scrapbook paper from Michaels. Um, 
the washi tape or not even washi tape is packing tape from appointed i'll link everything down below but this is what i've got uh, as a reminder, my April release is going to be happening on Monday, April 17th at 1 p.m. Central Time. And there you have it. This came together a lot better than I thought it was going to. I know the like kind of weathering on the paper is a little much, but I kind of like it. And I think once I get uh, like writing on the pages, it'll come together a lot more. These kind of ledger paper ones do stand out a bit more, but I think once I start writing in this, it'll really kind of get more cohesive so i like i like it i like all the like little paper scraps i think it is so cute but there you have it if you like this video hit that like button down below you can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content and follow me over on instagram at caitlin plans where i share after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos thanks for watching and happy planning mm -hmm.